all these all these diseases that we have um, that we just call aging, um, you know, used to be called the diseases of the West for hundreds of years. You know, so you go to you know uh, Australia or you know uh, North America, we see the Native Americans, the Native Australians, and and, and elsewhere. Uh, they wouldn't get the diseases we got. The, these guys were pure carnivores. There's tons of, of literature on this. There's tons of explorer um, you know, books and things like that that have been written on these things. And they all talk about, I mean, marvel how they're you know, pure carnivores. They only eat meat and they're, and they're just, they're, I mean, they're just statues of people. I mean, they're just, you know, absolutely, you know, statuesque. And like, and, um, and, they, and they don't, and they live to a great age. They, they don't break down and wear out like, like uh, the Europeans did. And they, they, you know, just ate meat. There's always a chapter on the diet of the native people on, on the explorers books that I've found. And they always just marvel at how they just ate meat and how they did it from experiments and how strong they were, how athletic they were and all these sorts of things. And, you know, now those same people who were, you know, doing amazingly well, they're actually much more sick than, than other populations because, you know, they don't have as much of resistance to these poisons in these plants that, you know, people that had come from, you know, a heritage that had, you know, cultivation of crops and that sort of agricultural revolution is roughly 8,000 years ago. So some, some, you know, uh, populations have had more access to these. They've grown a little bit of resistance. Their, their livers have just got a little more attuned to breaking these poisons down, but they're not immune by any means. And so we still get the diseases. You still get the toxicities from because I don't even think of them as, as diseases anymore. I think they're toxicities. You know, you get you can call, you know, lead does, you know, certain certain, you know, damage to your cells and your brain and your liver and all these sorts of things. And you could you could look at that molecularly and say, oh, this is a disease that does this and figure out a me medication that can sort of slow it down. And so you can die slowly over 40 years, or you can realize that you're being poisoned, you're being exposed to something that is toxic and, and, and eliminating that. And that's how I, I think of um, these other sorts of things, such as, you know, heart, you know, heart disease, even, you know, quite a lot of cancers as well. Sometimes people are genetically predisposed to certain cancers. There's other factors that go into cancer, but this is a major one is, is the food that we eat. And so, you know, I, I think of these sorts of things as a, as a, as an exposure principle instead of as a disease principle.